So this is the Odic Force Focusing Laser Host Kit. Now it consists of set of instructions, a parts kit. It can be used to build a range of lasers, such as the one which we have here. I'm going to start by showing you some of the lasers we can build, and then afterwards we'll look at the parts kit in some detail. So let's start with a typical laser which you might construct. This is a red laser, a red focusing laser. Um, it's got a 200 milliwatt diode in it and a focusing head. The parts are all included in the kit apart from the laser diode itself and the driver. And you'll see why that is in a minute. So let's switch the laser on. You can see it's a fairly powerful laser. It's starting to smoke the anti-static background we've got here on, on, on the display. We, we focus it, but we can adjust the focus and take it out to a wider beam. Um, so you can perhaps see here we can get a much larger circle from it. Um, we'll come back and look at this one in a bit more detail in a minute, but we could also build using the kit a blue laser, for example. Here's a blue laser, very, very similar to the red laser we've looked at, except it's got a blue laser diode and a different driver board in it. Um, this gives a bright blue output, and again, we can focus the output if we wish. Um, we can even use the kit to build infrared lasers. So here's an infrared laser built using the kit. In this case, we can see the beam because the camera picks up infrared, but if we were using a normal laser, uh, a normal vision, we wouldn't see, see it because the eyes don't pick up infrared. Uh, we're not sensitive to infrared. So let's look at what the kit contains in a bit more detail. Well, firstly, there's an instruction sheet. The instruction sheet's fairly detailed. It's got a list of the parts, it's got some options which you can build, and then it's got some fairly detailed build instructions. And in another video, we'll look at the actual build construction itself and, and go through some of these, these, these points. So the kit's supplied in a sort of bubble wrap pack like this, which contains the body and then the individual parts. The parts I've laid out on a tray here so we can look at them in a little bit more detail. So the first part to consider is the body tube. So this body tube will contain the batteries. And we'll look at some of the battery options from the lasers which have been constructed in a minute. There's a tail switch. The tail switch is already constructed and supplied in. The kit consists of a small PCB with a switch on it, a locating um, screw thread socket to mount it, um, and a push button at the rear. So that push button clicks on and clicks off to switch the, the laser on and off. And this, of course, screws into the back part of the, the, the tube here. The front of the laser contains the focusing head. This is the focusing head part, and this is the actual lens mount which goes with it. These two screw together, and usually before you do that, you'd actually mount the lens into the small front plate here. That's got a nine millimeter threaded recess, and the lens which is supplied is this particular lens which you see here. It's a wide aperture um, coated lens. So, uh, it's an acrylic coated lens, optically acrylic coated, and there's a tensioning spring to mount that into the head. The other parts we've got here is the diode holder. This diode holder is for direct press fit of a 5.6 millimeter diode, and the diode mounts this with the driver board behind, and that screws into the front of the laser head. So let's have a look at some of the lasers which can be built with this and, and look at some of the internal components. So we'll start with the red laser and look at that in a bit more detail. So here's the red laser which we looked at earlier. Uh, if I unscrew it we can see inside uh, there's two CR2 batteries being used to power that laser. So that's Panasonic CR2 batteries and the laser itself, and screw the front. We can see the lens mounted in the front holder. And there's also a tensioning spring there, which is going to pop out, so you can see that in a bit more detail. Um, this is the important part. This is the module holder, which contains the diode and the driver board. So here we can see the diode's been mounted into this front aluminium heat sink. And the driver board sits behind it with a small spring on the end to make contact to the battery. So, uh, this is a red driver board. Just put the blue tack underneath it so I can centre it up and then we can zoom in and have a look at this in a bit more detail. So let's have a look in a bit more detail here. Okay. 
So this is a, a variable current setting driver board and it's been soldered onto the diode which is mounted into the head. So if I move the head around we can see the diode sitting in the, the recess here. Um, we can see that there are two bond wires coming from the diode soldered to that side of the board and on the other side of the board there's a single wire coming to the driver board. And literally assembly of the laser is involves inserting the diode into the head, fixing it in place, and then soldering the driver board, and then soldering a spring contact, screwing everything together, and, and you're done. This particular laser has a the, uh, open can diode in it, so if we have a look here we can see the diode itself. Um, open can diode means that the actual laser element of the diode is exposed, so that actually allows more efficient cooling so that's one of the reasons why this, this red laser diode can run at a couple hundred milliwatts and uh, still have a reasonably good life. Now on this particular construction I haven't put any heat sink paste around it so that you can see see how it's built fairly easily um, and that means that the wires exposed from the diode going to the board aren't encapsulated but I, I would strongly recommend putting some heat sink compound around here and there's thermal settings for the heat sink compound to do that. And if I show you the inside of the infrared laser I can give you an example of how that works. This has got a different driver board. Um, take out the battery. Let's have a look at the head here. So here we have the head mounted. Screw this. There we can see, in this case, uh, around the driver board, it's a heavy duty driver board, there's a reasonable amount of thermal adhesive, thermal compound, and that's securely mounting the driver board and providing better heat dissipation for the diode. Uh, the red and the infrared lasers also illustrate the fact that we can use different batteries. So if I zoom back out again and um, have a look at the components we've got here in a bit, bit more detail. So this was the red driver setup. So with the red driver board we were using two CR2 batteries and they have about the same length when they're together. In this case as uh, a single uh, 3.7 volt battery which we're using with the the other laser based on the infra infrared module. So this is a single 3.7 volt battery and the single 3.7 volt battery fits in the tube as well. So either are suitable options to use with this laser setup and again we could use a 3.7 volt battery with for instance a boost driver and a blue laser diode. Um, the, the permutations are really quite large. So to summarise, the host kit comprises all of the parts which you need to build the laser, apart from the battery and the driver and the laser diode. So uh, just going back to where we were, this is the host kit which we started with. Oh, this is an example of the battery which you might need in addition to the host kit. And then one laser diode and one driver board. And here's some examples of, for instance, the parts which you'd use if you were getting odic force components to build, say, a violet laser. This is a variable boost driver board. Um, uh, that's the driver board. And then uh, this is a PHR805 Blu ray laser diode. Um, laser diode comes in an anti statics uh, bag, it's protected. You can see the laser diode component just inside the pack here. Um, and there we go, that's the complete kit of components you'd need to build a Blu-ray laser.